tooting his own horn or a legitimate bid to get rid of horn-happy drivers. Wellington City Councillor Chris Calvey-Freeman has proposed banning the decades-old practice of honking in the Mount Victoria Tunnel as a way of encouraging more foot traffic. The Mount Vic Tunnel, which is part of State Highway 1, is more than 600 metres long and is used by vehicles, pedestrians and cyclists to travel between the eastern suburbs into the city. Our reporter Charlotte Cook went along to gauge opinions from those who use it. I am right in the heart of the Mount Vic Tunnel and I've been here about 10 minutes and heard endless tooting. So uh, there's a lot of tooting and noise going in here already. Heaps of cyclists and people walking past. Um, and the people that I have spoken to think the tooting is a good thing. Rumour has it the tooting pays tribute to a teenager who was buried alive in the foundations while the tunnel was being built in 1931. Her boyfriend, who was a tunnel worker, was hanged for murder. Another less grim theory is the ritual stems from the tunnellers, who had horns and whistles on their carts to avoid collisions in the dark. This couple from Holland admit they found the tooting a bit odd at first, but when told why people started doing it, they thought it was a good idea. Yesterday we drove through this tunnel and we hear all the cars just uh, making the noise and we were like, why are they doing it? So this is actually the first time we, we hear the reason why. But um, now I know the reason, I think it's, it's a very good thing to do, yeah, yeah, definitely. Hittite resident Mason Lawrence isn't worried by the tooting and doesn't support a ban. I don't think it'll work. I think it'll actually um, uh, compound the problem if he thinks it's a problem. Mr Lawrence, who is wearing a dust mask when we caught up with him walking through the tunnel, says people should be more concerned about the fumes rather than the noise. But this man supported the proposed ban. I, I would prefer it if it was banned, yeah. I find it quite annoying um, because like, obviously when you're walking through like it's extremely loud and it's hard sometimes to wear headphones because of the cyclists. I think that would be my main opinion. The Wellington City Councillor who called for the ban, Chris Calvey Freeman, says if drivers lay off the horn, it could encourage more pedestrians and cyclists to use the tunnel. It's just annoying. I mean, the, the tunnel is not a pleasant environment for walkers at the best of times, and cyclists try and squeeze through there as well as they're allowed to do on the uh, on the footpath, and it's, it's less than two metres wide. It's just not a very nice environment, so anything we could do to improve it would be good. The transport agency's Mark Owen says it will consider any request from the council, but he doesn't believe the tradition will stop any time soon. He did, however, ask drivers to spare a thought for those walking or riding through the tunnel before they toot away. For Checkpoint, Charlotte Cook.